Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be teaching you the grid effect. Um, yeah. So you want to start by opening a new document, make the pixels 1000 by 1000 because we need a square to do it. Then what you want to do is you want to choose the picture that you want to do. So you can open it, it opens in another tab. Okay, like I show you now. See they're in two different tabs. So what you do is you go window, arrange, and just go float all in windows. Move a little bit to the right so you can see drag the layer into your 1000 by 1000 document that we just created. Okay, you don't have to maximize it, you should actually go window, arrange, consolidate all two tabs, then it's back how it was. Then just go edit, pre transform so that you can shape it. Now I'm using a high res picture so it's pretty big, so I have to zoom out quite a bit. So make it the size you want. Put it in your image. Okay, now I'm just going to adjust it to the way I need it. So I think that will work. Okay, then just merge these two because you need that to be your background layer. Okay, create a new layer and rename it grid. Oops, sorry. Okay, rename it grid. Okay, now you need to make your grid. So you're going to press Ctrl R and it's going to give you this ruler. Okay, then you need to change the ruler to percent. Right click on it and click percent. Then what you want to do is you need to drag it from the right to the left on 10% for every 10% that you need to do it for. Just like that, every 10%. Now you do the same with the bottom, you drag it, go down, there to the first 10%, into the next, into the next, and so on. Now you want to select this, so you're going to go there, right click and click select column marquee tool and hold shift and click all of the lines that go from top to bottom now you're going to do the same except with the rows so click the single row marquee tool and do the same while holding shift now we need to make these a color okay so what we're going to do you're going to right click on them we're going to go to full make let's fill them with white because it's going to work best because our background is white then what you do is the white lines are very thin so we're going to go to our effects create an outer glow we're going to put the opacity to 100 change the blend mode to normal we're going to change the color to white we're going to change um that to 12%, uh, it works best with the 1000 by 1000. Change the size to 5, click OK. So select and click deselect, then go view, go to show, go to your guides, un untick your guides. There we go. Now, what you need to do is you want to change the effects inside. So we're just going to create a new layer, then we'll take our paint bucket. No, you know what? We can actually do it on this layer. We take our paint bucket. And now we're just going to go paint in the ones that we don't want to see. So they're going to. You can have it like that, something like that. That looks really nice as well. Okay, then now what we need to do is we need to change the, we want to change certain blocks. So we're going to keep it on this layer, put our magic wand, select the blocks you want to change. So I want to change that one, that one, that one, and that one. And I want to change them to like a green. 
So we're going to go adjustments, go to hue and saturation. Let me just move it here so you can still see the image. Okay. Then click colorize and it automatically sets these things for you so you don't have to play around with them. Then you just choose the color you want. So let's make them green. Okay. Now we do now we go back to our layer, back to our magic wand, we choose the next blocks we want to edit. Hold down shift while you choose them. Go back to you in saturation, click colorize, choose your next color. And with the next blocks. Well you see what happened? I wasn't clicked on my layer over there. You must be on this layer. Okay, you don't have to color every block in, but that's pretty much the basics of it. You can mess around with it a lot more and do a lot more things with it. I'm just showing you the basics. Thank you for watching my tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel and comment for more videos. Thank you. Bye bye.